Hi, in this video here I'm going to cover how to install a mass and amplifier and a power unit to boost the signal coming from your UHF aerial. Now what we have here mounted on this pole is a UHF aerial with a cable coming down and it's terminated in an F connector here. Now normally what we can do is we can run this cable directly from the aerial into your um, Servio TV or your Servio set-top box and it will be sufficient to give you quite good signal and that's because the Servio signal, the coverage in Ireland is quite good um, and most places have quite good reception so a simple UHF aerial cabling will be sufficient. In certain cases due to obstructions or because of your particular location you'll find out that you'll need to boost your signal to be able to get good um, UHF signal to feed the, the TVs in your house and this is where mass amplifiers come in. Now mass amplifiers are always used in conjunction with power units. So basically what we have is we have a power point somewhere in the house where we have a, a power unit plugged in and it sends out a 12 volt DC signal um, through the cable to a mass and amplifier which sits about a meter underneath the UHF aerial. And what happens then is if you actually come along and put your hand onto the UHF aerial you'll actually feel it full of static electricity. So something like a distribution amplifier takes the existing signal that's there and tries to boost it and feed it around the house, where the mass amplifier power unit actually try to pull in additional signal. And from that perspective, technically, it's a better solution. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna give a demonstration of how it would fit this and how it would work, okay? So in terms of the mass amplifiers here, we have two types. We have a medium gain and a high gain, either 16 or 25 dB. Generally, I'll go for the higher gain one. The reason that sometimes you might go for the lower gain one is that the signal might be marginal as it is, and by pulling in all the extra signal, you might find that you're actually pulling in extra interference. So it all depends, and if it's much of a much, it's both basically would probably do the job equally well for you. But I, just for this demonstration, I'm going to pick up the high gain one here. And we can see there's an input and an output on it, okay? Uh, so what we're going to actually do is, um, you can see the out is going to the power supply and the in is coming from the UHF aerial. So what I'm going to do is, you can actually pull this out of the housing if you wanted it. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to screw it on here. And I'll just screw it in with this F connector here. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a second cable from here that I'm going to run into the house uh, and it will feed directly into the, the power unit inside. So what I'll do here is I have a pre-terminated cable. This cable normally obviously would be considerably longer and then run uh, to the power unit. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'll just repeat this on the far side. So I hope if you can see it, it's actually upside down for the filming here, but you get the basic idea. And there's actually, if you look at the back of this mass amplifier, there's actually a tie wrap that comes with it that allows it to be attached to a pole. And what we're gonna do here is I'm actually gonna come along and uh, uh, I could use this tie wrap here to tie this onto the pole. So what I'll do is, I don't want to actually demonstrate it here because I just don't want to use up this tie wrap on it. But I would just belt it on like this. And what we'll do is, and then we'll use a tie wrap like this to secure the cable on the way down. Okay, so it's tied and then the cable going inside, once again, will tie wrap it. Now a key point on this is that initially it would work if you put it in upside down. But it wouldn't work long term because the cable would fill up with water. Okay, so it's important that the cables always run from underneath into it. Okay, so what we'll do then is once you have it done, you simply slide the housing back and you have it tied into position onto the pole like that. So hopefully that's relatively clear to you. So we run the cable inside, and we can have the power unit either mounted in the attic or possibly right next to the television. So we just run the cable directly down, and if we come then to the power unit. We'll see here that the two power units that we sell is, one is a single output, the other is two outputs. So just to save you having two, if you're trying to feed two televisions off this, if you had a power unit like this in the attic, you can actually feed two rooms directly off it. Uh, if you're just running a single room, it's fine to use this. Or you can uh, use indeed something like this power passing splitter, where you'll actually feed in the cable and um, have this in between the mass and the fire and the power unit, feeds through power and what happens then actually is that um, you can just feed it off to two different rooms with the power supply feeding one and amplifying actually the other area, area of output for you as well. So we'll take the simple one here which is the single input and once again I'll just come to the in section, I screw on the F connector, that's that part there and what I do then the final step is to actually come along, I have yet another cable here pre-terminated, this one will have an F connector on this end and it will have a um, coaxial connector on this end. So we'll screw this connector on.
works like that, and then would run the cable directly into your Serview TV, or would say, um, um, maybe into, uh, we'll say, if you had a set top box like this with the, uh, d d for the digital Irish channels, okay? So that's it, you can see how it works anyway. It's a relatively straightforward process. The, the, the purpose of the video is just to give a demonstration of how this would be successfully installed. Most people won't need it, but just lots of locations in Ireland where this would be absolutely essential if you're going to get good Serbian things. Now, a final note here just to mention is there is alternatives to this. If you had a marginal signal, something like that, you can actually come along and just use something like a 4 or an 8 grade distribution system here. We have basically F type ones and also um, uh, uh, coaxial type ones. Um, and they will actually boost the signal. Uh, if you're actually going with this four-way distribution one here, it actually has a built-in power unit. So you can use this in conjunction with a mass and amplifier and not actually need to buy a separate power unit on it. Uh, with this one here, with the F-type connectors, um, you, you just wouldn't use power units with it at all, or, or mass amplifiers, it just amplified directly. So that, that's it, an overview of mass amplifiers and power units and how to install them.